Hi, I'm going to read In My Granny's Garden. This book is by one of my favorite authors, Pearl Cleege, but she's also partnering with Zaron Burnett. She is one of my favorite authors because her books are set in Georgia, in particular, Atlanta and Savannah. Also, this book is about growing a garden, and a lot of us are doing just that now that spring it now that it's spring. So here we go. My granny is a superhero. She can't fly. She doesn't drive fast or jump high, but she has a superpower. My granny grows real food. In the city, we get our food at the grocery store. But my granny lives in the country, and when I stay with her, we get our food from her garden. She says the country is the place where our food used to live before it got to the grocery store. She can grow everything I like to eat right in her own backyard. Corn, green beans, collard greens, cabbage, yellow squash, hot peppers, sweet peppers, pole beans, bright red tomatoes. She even has a blackberry patch. Whatever you like to eat at home, I'll bet my granny can grow that too. And it would be the best you ever had. I tell her it's because she's a superhero. Granny says it's because she picks her tomatoes when you can still taste the sunshine in them. She gathers her collard greens when the dew is still making diamonds on their leaves. She brings her blackberries in after they've been kissed by the summer rain. She harvests her corn when it can't get any sweeter and her chili peppers when they are so red they even look hot. Every morning we go to the garden to pull out the weeds and pick off any bugs we find. Sometimes Granny tells me how to grow things while we work. She says you plant in the spring when the ground is soft. She says you put the seeds in the dirt when the moon is full. I always listen so that one day I can have a garden of my own because Granny says living in the city is no excuse not to grow something. Sometimes Granny asks me what I've been thinking about and I tell her. Granny says I can be anything in the world and to always dream big. I tell her I will. When the sun is starting to get hot on the back of our necks, Granny holds the basket and shows me what is ready for picking. I pick gently so I won't bruise anything. When our basket is full, we take it inside and wash everything with cool water. Granny lets me have some blackberries while we decide what she will cook for our dinner tonight. I tell her I want pole beans and corn on the cob with lots of butter and sliced tomatoes and summer squash. And maybe she could fry some chicken and make a pan of biscuits to go with them. Of course, she says, and she laughs because we both know that making perfect biscuits is just one more of her superpowers. After dinner, we sit on the back porch and Granny's garden looks all golden in the sunset. You won't see anything like this in the grocery store, 
Granny says, and she kisses the top of my head because her other superpower is love. The end.